Welcome to another Print Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be looking how to add white and gloss layers for UV printing. I've already set up two layers. One is a solid black layer to represent a black material that you could print onto, and another layer with our Print Studio logo. We'll be looking to raise the logo using a gloss layer. We'll also be adding a base white underneath everything and also changing the black text to white text so we can see it on our black background. So let's get started. If we hide our background color and open up a new layer, we'll call this layer white base. We'll put this layer underneath our main artwork and select our main artwork. We go to edit copy, select our white base layer, edit paste in place. This should duplicate our logo underneath. Now with our white base layer selected, we're going to choose a swatch. You could choose white here, but it's difficult to see what you're doing and it's encouraged to use a color instead. So here I'm going to choose cyan. Double click the swatch and we'll name this swatch RDG underscore white and change the color type to spot color and select OK. So now you should have one layer that will print entire white and one layer that will print CMYK. So what we we'll need to do now is change the black text so it prints as white. So one of the ways you do this is select the text, go back to your old swatch, select it, and that will print the word print in white. Because we have this layer behind and the way that UV printing works, this would actually see it as two white layers. We don't want this, and so we're going to select this again and delete it. This should reveal the white layer behind, and we'll do the same with the original black. So now we have our text in white, we can quickly have a look to see what it look like once it's printed. So select the word you'd like, select just the white color, and then you can see how that would print when it's finished. But make sure you always go back to your RDG white layer in order for the UV printer to pick up the correct print. So now we're going to have a look at embossing the Print Studio wheel. If we open up a new layer, send it to the top of the layers and call it Gloss Emboss. So we're going to select the Print Studio wheel. Edit copy. And paste in place to our new layer. As we did with the RDG white layer, we'll select a new color and call this layer RDG underscore gloss and change the color type again to a spot color and click OK. So, so far we have a black material printed with a white layer on top and then a layer of gloss and then on top of that a layer of CMYK that will be embossed from the gloss underneath. Alternatively, you could put the gloss on top and create a shined gummy texture on top of the CMYK. However, for this, I'd like to emboss the CMYK with a nice matte finish.
Before we finish, we need to do a little tidying with the Print Studio logo and its overlapping vectors. If we go to Window, select the Pathfinder, we can unite this and turn it into one solid shape. We'll need to do the same for the white layer. And there you have it, a piece of artwork set up to print on a black material with a layer of white, a layer of gloss emboss, finished with a layer of CMYK. Be sure to save your file as a print ready PDF and a separate .ai file for later editing. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up below and click subscribe. Also, check in the description for any more updates on our social media and our website. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.